Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Try One Deck Dungeon, the digital version of a real-life tabletop game. Sort of a roguelike uh, dungeon crawl thing. So we're on floor two of the Dragon's Cave. We just uh, encountered a flame statue over there. We've got to choose whether we're going to disenchant them or dodge them. Disenchant does take extra time, but I'm slightly better at this. And of course, it's got a lower target number um, than dodging it. Um, I'd rather not just avoid this. This, uh, this skill isn't the most helpful for us. It's really nice as a rogue. If you've got a lot of agility, you turn, like, any of your agility die, so you've rolled a one, you turn one of those into, I roll two extra combat die. But it could still be really handy for us, or we could just eat the XP, which is probably what we're going to do. I'm going to go for this. I think I'm going to take the disenchant. So we're going to have our three magic die plus our one heroic. But look how much we got to cover. Now, oh, that's really annoying. Now, we have to cover the armor first. And, I mean, I want to do this one because it's a lot more time penalty, and I guess that's it. So we'll take one point of damage. I've got three exactly. I do have a potion token, so I'll probably use that. Um, so this backstab skill, again, great as a highly agile character, less useful for me. And just getting plus one mana doesn't help, so I'll just bank the XP for now. And yeah, before I open the next door, I will drink a healing potion to get rid of all my damage. I will open the next door. Some sort of skeleton, dude! Skeleton, undying. If any boxes are empty, spend two time. Okay, so every single one of these boxes effectively has two extra time. Well, not every box, because this will only trigger one time, probably. Um, looks like we'll, we'll definitely take this guy. That's going to be fine. Unlock an invisibility potion. Spend two time before an encounter. Skip to the claim loot phase. Oh, so you could just skip a fight by spending one of your potions and two time. I don't know, we might just eat this guy for XP. We will see. Roll everything. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of ones. And some twos. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. If we do this and that, spend this thing for a kind of wild card slot. Or can we? I don't remember what was under there. It was a blue one, right? Do that. At least it lets me cover this. But yeah, can't do anything with these. The Shimmer Blast... Doesn't help us that much because we kind of need... These are all blues, like, they're kind of fitting in. Yeah, and I didn't think the Shimmer Blast would be that handy for us, and I think it's proving to be the case. And this is another one of those things where, like, the more um, blue dice you have, the better it is, because the more likely you'll want to convert one into a miscellaneous one. Alright, so we're going to lose three time. One from this and two from the Undying, and take one point of damage. Shimmer Blast does, I suppose, get better if we decide to use a Mana Potion. So, we could unlock another potion. Again, we'll get an extra token as well. Um, and I don't want that. I mean, I do want the agility, but... Actually, I think I will grab this. And the reason is, if I replace one of these swords, yes, I lose one of my max HP. But, this is exactly 3 XP, which means I will go up to the next level, which will give me higher limits for things. So, I will go ahead and do that. There we go. Level up, so I got another potion token. I can use it right now. Yeah, so level three, I mean, gives you, again, higher cap on your items and skills, which is really good. If we can get to level four and get that second heroic die, that is really massive. But first priority is probably to just power ourselves up. All right, we got a trap. Um, I am up to three of these, but that's a lot of dice. Remember, I have to cover these as well. I think I will just go ahead and clobber them, even though it eats more time. Because I'm going to have to spend one die here. Okay, that... Uh, oh, no, we're just short. Oh, poopsicles. I guess we're doing that. We'll take the one damage. Alright. Um... 
no, I don't think we do this. The the plain agility doesn't sound very good. This skill is actually pretty good. Spend any one combat die, increase up to four of your dice by one each. I think that's huge for us. The XP is really nice, but I think that's going to be really handy. And no, I don't have to replace the skill. Although I think if I replace the skill, it would turn this into XP. So maybe I would, I should have done that since I'm never using Shimmer Blast. But there's a possibility it'll come in handy. Cave in. Dismantle it, again, eats a lot of time, but it's a heck of a lot easier for me to do it. So, I, oh no, you know what? I didn't realize, I'm going to have three agility dice. Although it's a higher target number, so... I probably should have gone for it. Alright, you're going to go there, you're going to go there, and we actually have enough to not take anything. Hooray! Now, notice that Cleave, some of these, these are both combat only. Armor is for both combat and traps. So some things are only for certain types of encounters. Uh, crushing Blow is very nice. Convert any one combat into a six-point combat. I'm going to do that. I will replace Shimmer Blast, because I think, yeah, it'll convert to XP. We're not really using it, so I think that's going to be okay. I don't know. Now, if we can get to level four, it's really good. Nearly out of time. Um, if I stay, it's going to add two more time right now? No, I think it already added the time. I think I can afford to stay this. Yes. I want to avoid taking any more damage, although I do have the potion. Uh, we can go for the bash here. Especially with crushing blow and various things like this. I think we should be... Those are not high numbers. Oh, right, I can't crushing blow, it's combat only. Um, hmm, hmm. Well, I don't have a six for this. So we're going to take one point of damage. Still, we'll be fine there. This skill, you got to spend three, um, like, pink dice. And so it can be like a one and a one and a one or something like that, which is great to get one sixth wild card, but that's not really for us. And we don't need this. Although I can have more items. Like this skill won't be useful enough. I can have more items, and I suppose I should do that rather than take the two XP. So yes, we'll just go ahead and uh, lock that, get the extra thing, and we will descend at this point rather than spend more time. Boom. Okay, I've got three damage taken, so I will go ahead and drink this potion to get rid of it. So we're on floor number three. Dragon skin's in. We need a lot of fight to help combat that. What do you? You need a fair amount of magic, but yeah, look at the fight. Um, we have got a surprising amount of agility dice now. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. We're gonna try to see if we can get the level four for the final fight here. Uh, roll everything. All right, so. No brainer. We are clearly oh, spend time for every one roll. Of course, we're gonna roll four ones. We're gonna convert the one into a six, and I'm gonna want to convert this other one into pluses for everything else. So if I increase this one, because we need two blue fives, would be nice. Um, we're gonna need a yellow six. Either way, to get the 10. So that could be a 10 there. And then probably that. So that's 10. There's the 6. Um, oh! Shoot, I made a mistake. I increased one too many blue dice here. Uh, but I think it's okay. So yeah, we leave those uncovered because we've got all these these pink dudes. Boy, if I had that um, agility thing that lets me convert any three agility dice into one black die, that would actually have been pretty good. Three damage, five time. Wait. Oh, hold on, hold on. I don't think I'd covered the armor properly. 
There we go. It wasn't giving me credit properly for that. Um, if you try to end an encounter and it's, it has some dice that you could assign somewhere that you didn't, it will warn you. Like here, these can't be assigned anywhere, so it won't warn me. There we go. All right. That is much less brutal. All right, I do like this. I've got a lot of things that convert combat dice. This is a really nice one because it converts it into a, a black six. You can only use it to cover armor, but it's really good. On the other hand, leveling up is also really nice. Um, I think I'll go ahead and do this. Like, the 10 armor I have to overcome from the Dragon's Cave is at least, like, sword-based, which I've got a fair amount of. Uh, that dexterity is pretty nice. Convert any, it's just like Crushing Blow. Any dexterity dice, any pink die, into a 6. And, I mean, we've got, you know, decent traits here. Oh, right. Convert one item to XP. I think I'm going to do, especially for this fight, I'm going to convert this weak um, agility. I mean, at least, I mean, it's not wasted in a sense because you do get the XP, but it hurts your combat chances. Not the world's greatest rolls. I mean, I think, like, no matter what... There's no reason not to upgrade you to a 6. Well, I mean, if the 2 could be used for something directly, then there might be something to be said about something else because of breakpoints. Now, it'd be nice to trigger this cleave. Do I want to spend the 4 doing that? I think the answer is yes. So, if I upgrade you to a 6, that'll be able to go there. Um, if I do these two, that can cover that tile. I'll make some wild cards or something. Yeah, I don't think there's any... Any other thing I can do? Oops. There might have been something, but again, I'm trying to hurry for the sake of the video, which is already way too long. Uh, duh. I mean, we've got to deal with more of this armor. We have no choice but to clear those first. I mean, I could put the three and the one over here and get back to four, but the four doesn't do anything for me. Well, that's not strictly true. Um, well, it doesn't really matter which one I use, but I was going to say, I can change the four and the three, or that three, it doesn't make much difference, into a wild card to put on, you know, one of these to take less damage, probably. Which I guess we have to do. And then do nothing with this guy. And there's probably something else I could do, but... At least we'll only take the two from our armor. Uh, just an extra sword's not bad. I actually think this dexterity skill is going to be the way to go. Or we can... You know what? Hold on. We're just going to level up. Trigger level four gives us a second uh, heroic die. Huge for us. Huge. And generates an extra potion, which I will use to go ahead and heal here. Like that out of combat healing. I mean, you know, I had enough spare hit points. Maybe I could have just done a mana thing, but... Seems a little safer. Survivor, if any armor boxes are empty, discard this instead of looting. Oh. You are kind of annoying. You're kind of very annoying. Do I just want to flee you? No. You do not flee from combat. Although I think it might have been a good idea. Alright, let's roll everything. So you got tons of armor. And if I don't clear all the armor, I don't even get to loot you. And I'd still take damage. I rolled very badly over here, but... Alright, we can do this at least. And yes, we're still going to do that. Huh. Huh.
we're gonna have a hard time doing this. So I mean, I can complete this with maybe this wild card, but then that doesn't do that. You knew that, and that. I mean, we can we can do all the armor, I guess. So I don't need you to go up to a five. I really only need to increase these if I want to be able to convert some wild card dice. I don't think there's an undo for this. It's very likely that I'm going to make some sort of error along the way doing that kind of thing. Um, oh, actually, hold on. Alright, the armor is done, so at the very least I get to loot it. Which is nice. Now it's like, can I mi minimize how much damage I'm going to take? That uh, doesn't actually change how much damage because of this over here. Can I swap something around to get a wild card over here? There needs to be a reset because it doesn't let you clear off the um, the armor tiles. If you put anything on a non-armor tile. So, like, alright, that's gonna go there. It's not actually, like, triggered yet. Let's see. So, I could merge these two to do that. and then merge these two to do that, but then I still end up taking, I think, the same amount of damage. Like the one. I don't remember. You know what, I'm just gonna do this, I'm probably screwing it up, but... And in the interest of some vague amount of speed... Yeah, yeah, because I'm already at one. It, it ended up being the same, the same thing. Maybe the other way I wasn't losing as much time, I'm not sure. But either way, I take one point of damage. But I kill him! So I get my loot. That's the important thing. Uh, I don't have enough agility to trigger this. 2 XP. I don't even know. Oh, um, you can keep every 5 experience gives you 1 potion now. Which is actually not so bad. I could probably get a 3 experience in the next fight. On the other hand... I think we'll just take an extra arcane die. Because we're going to need it for the, the, the dragon. What you got over here? All right, just an encounter. Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll just end up eating all the uh, the time, and I don't think we'll actually be able to um, to do anything. It's okay, I'll dismantle it. If we can get plus one agility, I think that'll be handy for us. Okay, big numbers. A two. I, I won't let me put it there now, but yeah, no, we're fine. Okay, boom, no consequences. Excellent. Um, I think the plus one agility is fine here. So time passes, there's nothing out there. Yeah, I have no choice but to descend. Because the deck's empty, I couldn't explore new cards. Okay, here is the boss fight! We are fighting the dragon over here. So, the way uh, the boss fight works is they actually have hit points. Every time you cover up a skull, that and, and you end your turn, that will um, do that much damage to the boss. Now, you can't put the wild card dice on the skull ones. But that's it. So I'm trying to not die, is one thing. And I'm trying to kill the boss. This is a really bad set of opening numbers. Let's do this. Um, and do this. Now, if I do these two, that'll be a good pair for the two armor tokens. I like that. Um, I already have a six for this, and I can't, I won't be able to do those, so I, one damage is all I can do, so really all I want to do after that is just try to hit the 16 or the 17. Okay, if that six goes there, 
Well, I won't be able to here. Can I do these? Am I just gonna die? Again, I'm doing these two to get rid of the armor. Good. I think I just have... Am I just gonna die? I have to do those two. Like, I can't get this. Oh, I can do wild card stuff. Thing is, I want to do damage to him, too. So, yeah, I can't do both. Let's go ahead. That's the only damage I can do to him, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to convert these. So that I can at least do this. I only can take three damage because of my armor, thank goodness. Alright, so I'll take six I'll take three damage and do one skull to him. So I have to do that five more times. Uh wow! I think I'm gonna get obliterated here. Do you get to reuse my skills, my heroic dice? Okay, bigger numbers this time. I see that's still going there. And I mean, you can sort of start placing things. Um, unless I... Well, I can... Oh, no, I can't put the wild cards on these. Let's see. So there's no way for me to cover that up. All right. Um, this will give me... This gives me plus four. So it's the same sort of one-to-one -one trade here. It's 11, 15, 17... So, I mean, again, it's not going to actually lock it in, but that's 17 for that one. Go team, let's not die. So, I can convert this, convert these two so that I can get rid of the armor and actually start applying damage. And then... You're going to go there, and the question is, can I go and soak this? Because I've got plus two leftovers. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, sixteen. Yeah, okay. I probably miscounted something, but... Okay, we have to do those two for the armor. And then we just... can. It can be anything. Because it's just adding an extra two points to what we need. So you go there, you go there. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we're doing a point of damage. I have no potions, right? Um, I'm only going to take one point of damage here. From these two. One of them gets reduced. I get nothing to do with that. And round. Hooray! We're one third of the way there! And we can only take two more points of damage or we die. Uh, those ones are not looking good. Again, the one here is not so much an issue. Because I can just level it up. Um, so I mean, okay, let's say we do something like that. This has got to get leveled up to be able to count. So, I mean, we can look at doing more damage. If you get leveled up and you go here, that's three damage. Okay, so I don't have lethal. The question is, does he have lethal on me? Now, that's 12. So, I mean, we have to apply a plus one to one of these dice. So that's one plus one. Another plus one goes over here. Uh, this is 12. I can't stop him from doing this. I can wild card for an extra one. Okay, so that's a one and one. So I get an extra plus two here. So that's actually 14. Combine those into a wild card. That's 15. I still die. Oh, and that's without counting the one that I spend on, on cleave. Uh, 
Okay, that's 16. So that's 12. Okay, that's 17 over here. If I don't cover that, and I mean, that's still going to be damage. But if I can defeat this, I can wild card these guys. So that becomes 15. And that's still without turning something into cleave. I think I'm a little foobard here. Now you can't trigger these with um, with heroics, so that has to go there. Um, it's fifteen, right? So what I can do is I can apply a plus one to this and a plus one to here. That becomes a wild card for two. Well, I guess I actually don't have to do this because 15, if I apply a plus one to here, that's 16. Combine these two to a wild card. That's the last one for that. And a plus one has to go here, right? That's 12, 15, yeah. And a plus one goes there and a plus one goes there. Did I find a way to not die? That has to go. This has to go. That has to go. And then that. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. I only take one point of damage. Ho! Oh, that was tough. I take one point of damage. I hit him for two. Okay, now it looks to me like I take damage first. So... It seems... Oh, boy. Especially with these dice. I don't think there's any way for me to not die. It looks like we, I take my health point damage first. Crap. I'm screwed, aren't I? Six... Eight, nine, uh, twelve, thirteen. I need four more not to die here. Which I suppose I can get by, like, wild carding these, but then I'm gonna die to that damage. And that's not even with me doing any damage to this guy. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna end round. Uh, I have to hit him twice. Oh, shoot. I I bailed too early. I forgot. Uh, actually, was there any way for me to do it? As I say, oh, I'll just find out if I can, like, just kill him and win. But I actually can't do that. Because I exited out. And even if I hadn't exited out... Um... I might have been able to wildcard these two or something here up to a five. No, five's not enough. No, that's not, uh, no because I can't put the black die over here. So, and yeah, it, I was just wondering if it would let me, if it would give me the lethal damage, but let me do lethal back to the boss. But he didn't even take the skull. Ah, uh, well, we got to the end boss, but we are a little bit shy on uh, on gear there. I think I think it's because I played a fairly low skill game. I mean, obviously because I have no skill, but I mean like in terms of actual skills for our characters, for dice manipulation. Um, I'm not sure that we got the the ideal combination there to really allow us some crazy die manip, but anyway, that's One Deck Dungeon. It is available on Steam. It's also available in your local gaming tabletop stores, and a uh, good thing to play on your own, and yeah, a lot of fun, like as a pair, um, if you choose two people, first of all, you get a nice like diversification of your stats, and then when you get an encounter, I'll just show it real quick. Um, these stats are lower. I don't know, is it just like minus one to everything? I think it might be, because we started, were we not a 3-1-3? And with five hit points, and so we have fewer hit points here. 
it looks like we've got different auras as well. I think in the physical version is you flip the card over and they have different stats. So you can see each one of these has less stuff. Um, I don't remember if you die when one person has lethal. I kind of feel like that's the case though. Which makes getting extra hit points really important if you want to use the three health potions whenever possible. But um, yeah, so over here, let's say we choose, we're going to enter, we're going to choose to decipher it. And oh yeah, you can gamble for your heroic feat. We got what, three? You know what, we'll use the heroic gamble like that, which um, in the single, if you're playing with just one hero, the rogue has the option of doing two. Each hero will die separately, one hero might have no death. Yeah, that's fine, though. That's all fine. This is a little weird. I think I probably would have just pulled it, put it all in one pool, because it doesn't actually matter, because anyone can put their stuff anywhere. Both heroes team up to fill as many challenge boxes as possible. Each hero may contribute dice to yada, yada, yada. All right. And some, yes, heroes can, er, can support others. You can convert any two dice into one heroic dice. Mm-hmm. But yeah, anyway. So we clear that. And the encounter. And then when you loot it, you choose one item and um, it goes... Like, if it's an item or a skill, it just goes to one person. But you level up, like, together. So leveling up when you're two players becomes that much more powerful. Especially um at level two and i'm sure there's got to be a way to like see what it is at level two you do both get your heroic dice so getting there really early is really good um this persistence is interesting swap two combat dice roll a combat and a heroic instead obviously we give that to the paladin because it just lets him re-roll two crappy ones and if you get more like plus sword icons over there that becomes particularly nice uh mine there we go Hey, great, great game to play with your friend because you're always sort of trying to coordinate and talk and like where should we put the things and everything. Um, really, I really enjoy this game in uh, in real life. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.